My name is Kristina Kordunano Huch. I am an assistant professor at the School of Public Policy at Central European University. I am originally from Romania. I grew up during the communist regime. I was only 13 when uh, uh, the Soviet Union and the Eastern um, Europe um, shifted gears, politically and economically speaking. And I have always been marked by how non democratic regimes work. By training, I am a political scientist, uh, more specifically, a political economist that uh, combines economics with politics in order to explain explain major societal outcomes. I am very fortunate to be teaching um, the class Evolution of Modern Governance with two of my colleagues from SPP, Austin Choi Fitzpatrick and Dan Large. Um, they come from different backgrounds. One of them uh, is an international relations scholar. The other uh, one is a political sociologist. I contribute from the perspective of political economy and comparative politics. And we are blending all these streams of research um, to explain the chronological evolution of major political and economic institutions over the last century. And the second course called Introduction to International Development. It's a political economic take on why we have poverty in the world, um, are there variation across countries, and what are the root causes of such variations. The class covers different um, topics such as economic growth, inequality, poverty, uh, different areas of the world, Latin America, Africa, Eastern Europe. The international development class, we are very fortunate to have students from many different parts of the world, from many disciplinary backgrounds. Um, our African students are challenging major Western development paradigms. Um, they are critical to the readings. They engage in a very intellectual and practical way with what development means for them, what poverty in Africa means for them. Um, a lot of them have experience in refugee camps uh, in, uh, in Afghanistan or in uh, working with uh, bureaucracies and uh, president offices in Uganda and uh, they bring to the table in this particular development course um, a lot of insight that in a normal academic setting students don't necessarily have. I'm currently working on a book manuscript about um, how non-democratic leaders stay in power by manipulating fiscal policies, taxation and spending in particular. Um, my book compares three different cases, Turkey, Morocco and Romania, and tries to argue that despite the idiosyncrasies of these regimes, despite the fact that they have very characteristic institutional features, they converge in terms of the strategies used by leaders.